So for this week, we're going to go ahead and do uh, number one and number two on this worksheet, a little bit of uh, trig identity review, uh, working on that kind of stuff. So um, looking at number one first, you see a big ugly mess here, but what you're going to notice is the subtraction sign right here is going to break this up into two uh, slightly easier pieces to do. So the first thing we're going to see here, uh, we're not going to worry about this left side for now. Uh, you see the two that's outside of the brackets. So what we're going to do is factor something out of these two terms inside of the bracket. So the only thing I can pull, this should be a regular theta, is the correction there. Um, the, the only thing I can pull out of this is a cosine and a sine that I can also pull out of this one. So I'm going to pull sine times cosine out of that, which will give me, for this chunk here, it's going to give me a 2 sine cosine. And then what's left on the inside is a sine squared here, a cosine squared here. That's going to reduce down to 1. Sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. Um, now we can take a look at this other minus chunk over here. So what we see is we've got a 4 sine squared out front. Um, again, I see the sine, sine cubed cosine plus sine cosine cubed. So you're going to be able to pull out that sine of cosine. So if I pull the sine out, I'm going to get a 4 sine cubed and then a cosine with it. So on the outside, I'm going to get a 4 sine cubed cosine theta. And you'll notice once again inside the brackets, we'll be left with a sine squared in the first one and a cosine squared in the second one. Both those being added together will reduce down to 1. So what we have now is a 2 sine theta cosine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta cosine theta. Now we'll get to this other side in just a minute here, but first off we're going to notice we wouldn't we'll be able to pull out a 2 from this, so we're going to factor again. So we'll pull a 2 out of both of them, we can pull a sine out of both of them, and a cosine out of both of them. So if we do that, we'll get the 2 sine theta cosine theta. What's left in here is just a 1 on this first one, because we pull everything out of there, and then we subtract a, the 2 is pulled out, so we'll have a 2 left over, and a sine squared. So we're going to go with that. And then what we see is the identity for these two right here, where sine of 2 theta is going to be equal to 2 sine theta cosine theta, and cosine of 2 theta is going to be equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared theta. So there's that one. And we'll do number 2 down here real quick. Uh, what you notice is it's sine squared minus cosine squared sine squared. So what we can pull out of that is a sine squared. You'll be left with a 1 minus cosine squared. And after going through that, you're going to see that 1 minus cosine squared is just going to be sine squared. Because if you went ahead and set up 1 minus cosine squared is equal to sine squared. And then you added the cosine across, you get sine squared plus cosine squared is 1, which is true. So this becomes sine squared. Then you get a sine squared times a sine squared, which is sine to the fourth. And that's it.